Um, good morning, classmates. We are the next group, the group four. By the way, I'm Nisaya Ivonne Yampo, and I'll be starting the report through the family. First, what is the family? Um, family, being the foundation of the nation, is a basic social institution which public policy cherishes and protects. Consequently, family relations are governed by law and no custom, practice, or agreement destructive of the family shall be recognized or given effect. Please take note with this one, family relation. Uh, the state, uh, if you look further into the constitution, there are a lot of provisions where the constitution highlight the family, the protection of the family. With the, the state protects the family, they, they give us rights, rights to the spouses, rights to the children, rights to the entire family, and most of all, marriage. In fact, when it comes to marriage, uh, the, the court always holds the validity of marriage in case of annulment and legal separation. Second, family relation. It includes those between husband and wife, parents and children, among other ascendants and descendants, and among brothers and sisters, whether full or half blood. Please take note that this is an exclusive list. Exclusive. Ibig sabihin, walang ibang kasama. So, those other uh, family members such as your uncles, your cousins, they are not part of those previous articles that are governed by law. Uh, second, third, no suit between members of the same family shall prosper unless it should appear from the verified complaint of petition the earnest efforts towards a compromise. Earnest efforts. This, in this way, we have to make a compromise that we really need. The state really wants to settle the any argumentation regarding the family. Uh, if you will notice, why do we have to make an earnest effort? Because we are of the same family. So basically, if we will find on the court, what will people uh, uh, say to us? Example, the Barreto versus Barreto. Fighting, letting them fight in court, what if? What could happen? It will sadden not just their family, but the state as a whole because the state is the the foundation of the family is the foundation of the nation. Uh, failure or inability resulting towards this will automatically dismiss the case. Wala na. Pag hindi ito ginawa, dismiss. And uh, please take note of what, what I said a while ago. It is exclusive. So, for example, if there's a suit between the brothers and sisters, but the sister is with her husband, it will also it uh, this provision under Article 151 is not applicable. Why? Because there's a stranger in the party, which is the husband of the sister. So even if it is a conjugal case, the case will not uh, prosper under this family solidarity. And please take note of the compromise. Uh, it's not applicable for those civil status, validity of marriage, ground of annulment, uh, jurisdiction of the court, family. Uh, future to court and future legislative. Uh, that's all, and I think my groupmates will tackle the family home. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Hasmi De Castro, and I'll be discussing the concept of family. So, under Article 152, family home clearly defines, uh, is clearly defined. So, particularly, family home is constituted jointly by husband and wife or unmarried head, head of family. So, it is the dwelling house where they and their family reside and the land to which it is situated. So, family home under Article 153 provides that family home is deemed constituted at the time it was occupied as a family residence. So it stresses the requirement of an actual and permanent occupancy either by the husband and wife that must be jointly constituted or unmarried head of a family. Also, other beneficiaries um, under the law, which I will discuss later. So, aside from who must constitute the family home, the place or properties that is constituted is an also important element 
which it must be established on specific properties. So if constituted by married spouses, it can be established on conjugal partnership and absolute community. And also exclusive property of either spouses with the consent of the other. Well, for unmarried head of family, where there is no communal or conjugal partnership, it can only be constituted only by his own property. Article 153 provides the beneficiaries of the family home, such as the husband and wife, unmarried person of a family, parents, ascendants, descendants, brothers and sisters, and also in-laws. So to be part of the beneficiary, there are three requisites. So one, it must among the relationship of the husband and wife, unmarried person, and the ascendants, descendants. Second, they must live in the family residence. And last, they must depend for legal support upon the head of the family. So beneficiaries are important and mostly affected by the constitution of the family home. So as long as the beneficiaries actually resides, family home continues to search and exempt from execution, first of sale, of attachment except to the extent provided by law, which will be discussed by the next reporter in Article 155. The poem is the starting point of the uh, Hope and dreams. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> uh, family home is exempt from execution uh, for sale or attachment. That's the general rule. It is effective from the time of the constitution of the family home and until the beneficiaries actually resides there. Effective from the time of constitution of the family home was discussed in Article 153, which uh, Family home is being constituted uh, upon uh, when it is occupied as a family residence. In this general rule, there are two, two exceptions, which is um, to the extent allowed by law and to the uh, list provided for by the law. I'll be starting it with extent of exemption the, the extent of value provided for in article 157 requires that the actual value of the family home shall not exceed at the time of its constitution the amount of 300,000 in per urban areas and 200,000 and 200,000 rural areas and such amounts as may hereafter be fixed by law um this means that uh the family home is exempt from execution for sale or um, attachment only to the extent of three hundred thousand. which means if um the the amount of the family the value of the family home at the time of its constitution is beyond three hundred thousand it can still be subject for execution, for sale, or attachment. <coughs> the exception provided for in Article 155 are, of course, number one, <laughs> for, for non-payment of taxes. Of course, taxes is the lifeblood of the country, which means non-payment of which will uh will be uh be needed for the uh even if it is a family home it can be subject for execution second for debts incurred prior to the constitution of the family home 
Third, for debts secured by mortgages on the premises before or after such constitution. Third, the mortgage, di ba? Sinanila ko, tapos hindi mo yung benefit na. No, hindi pwede. So, even if it is secured by mortgage before or after such constitution, hindi siya exempted for execution, uh, for sales or attachment. Lastly, for debts due to laborers, mechanics, architects, builders, material men, and other who have rendered service or furnished material for the construction of the building. The family home must be constituted at a place where it is fixed and permanent connection with persons constituting it. Um, like boat or vessels, hindi yet ino consider, or an apartment which is rented, house on another's, another's properties. <clears throat> It must be in the conjugal or uh, absolute properties or exclusive property of the person. One which is um, with co-ownership with third person is not cons can be considered as family. Alienation or encumbrances of family home. The law requires the written consent, consent for the disposition of the family home. Number one, persons constituting the family home, the latter spouse, and the majority of the beneficiaries of legal age. In addition, the requirements for claiming privilege of family home. The settled rule is the right to exemption or for sale is a personal privilege granted to the judgment debtor before the sale of property at the public auction. As held in the case of Conrado versus C uh, Court of Appeals, and the petitioner only petitioned the exemption from execution only after more than one year of uh, the auction sale, which cannot be availed uh, already because it's already been uh, the sale has been already consummated. That's all. Thank you.